Get Carter, a London gangster returns to his hometown to avenge his brother's death, only to find out the filth has bubbled to the surface. What can be said about the man, Jack Carter? You can tell from the early scenes of the film that he is not someone you should mess with. He does not take kindly to those blokes who act tougher than they are, leaving this fella in complete embarrassment in his own home. It is also evident that Jack has a substance abuse problem. We often see him drinking whiskey, snorting some substance out of a nasal dropper, to the eventual and incessant pill use. He's gearing up for what's to come. In a thin blouse. It's said that after the release of this film, Newcastle barkeeps were very annoyed that everyone wanted their drink served in a thin glass. Also, this man at the bar has five fingers. It's probably no surprise that Get Carter is a movie that influenced Quentin Tarantino to be a filmmaker. The streets of Newcastle act as more than a setting, providing a dreary and dull backdrop that plays nicely with the no-nonsense theme. Do you know, I had almost forgotten what your eyes look like. They're still the same. Piss holes in the snow. Carter, who has clearly outgrown his hometown of Newcastle, stomps around the city, annoyed at the locals and their ways of playing small. However, he does have rocky relationships with some of the locals, going from friend to foe as new information transpires. He takes no time to have any moral conundrums, but rather decidedly brings those wrong to justice. The only reason I came back to this crap house was to find out who did it. And I'm not leaving till I do. Do you understand? Hey. And at that time, people thought that gangsters were either funny or stupid. And I wanted to show that gangsters were not funny, they were not stupid, they were economical with violence. It was just a means to an end, it was to silence you. No time for me. And that's where you get that coolness that Carter had. It was very edgy. You never get these people saying, if you say that again, I'll smash your face in. They don't. They just smash your face in. Here you can see Carter economically smashing someone's face in, with no warning whatsoever. There is no time wasted on mincing words, but just violence and on an expedited schedule. Michael Caine wanted the gangster representation to be as accurate to real life as possible accomplishing debilitating violence in one punch rather than 20. The same holds true with the women that he encounters. Seeing interest, he wastes no time in making his move in true Cagney-era gangster form. You. My name is Jack Carter. The remake with Sylvester Stallone chooses Seattle as the backdrop and does a solid homage to the original, however, falling short of critics' expectations. Filmed in under 40 days, Get Carter is a film that encompasses a no-nonsense London gangster, true to form, and kicked off the British film noir genre. It's something special and continues to age well, earning a place in many top 20 English movies of all time lists.